what, what you see when you study psychology is that uh, people are naturally bound to be a certain way. People's uh, personality, people's character, people's They're intelligence, different. and so many other things are uh, determined by by uh, by their genetics, and then determined by their very early uh, early years on which humans have not not much influence. So what you are left with when you are at an age where you can properly reason is a a personality, a character that was uh, formed when you were not really in charge, when you didn't really know right from wrong. Is that wrong. what you meant by when you're saying like humans have no influence? Because I would say that humans have a lot of influence over yeah, their yeah. attachment style. It's no, def definitely, but but uh, but but humans are definitely in uh, so much uh, you know determined to be a certain way before they are born and in their early years during childhood when they are babies during childhood and so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, in in that regard, I would say that uh, humans are very much bound to be a certain way, and uh, and and with that personality that you have. Uh, then you can make choices in the future as a reasonable human. But still, until that age, until that stage, you have become a person that you didn't really decide to become, that you didn't really decide to be. And especially your intelligence, for example, is very much is, is very much uh, dependent on your on your on your genetics and your upbringing. So. Um, Th then to kind of try to collect all humans and to make them uh, abide by a uh, by by a certain way of living and make them have a certain uh, discipline, expect them to exactly act and be a certain way. It's just uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's just it's just an empty struggle, and it doesn't work. It works with nobody. You see, in every religious group, in every society, that people constantly struggle with themselves and constantly struggle to uh, to, to be a certain way without be without being able to be that way. In Muslim society, mo the Islamic religion is the most. Uh, the strictest religion out there when it comes to uh, how to live your life. You know, you are constantly uh, dictated to, uh, to to do certain things throughout the day and to abstain from certain things. But Muslims are not good with that. The vast majority of Muslims struggle with it. The vast majority of uh, Christians, Hindus, everybody, they struggle with their own way of living and they uh, fail in life, but they repeatedly try to not fail. They repeatedly try to be the, the perfect, best way, the, be the best version of themselves, but they can't be because we are all naturally not meant to be, you know, one type, one certain way. That will always fail. And we can only understand that when we really study psychology, which is gladly happening nowadays. Yeah, it's so important. Hey, if you need help studying, especially for abnormal psych, hit me up. <laughs> the teacher's assistant for abnormal psych and uh, clinical and translational neuroscience. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I, did, I didn't know that. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's yeah. so important to understand. Like, I literally wouldn't be able to understand myself, too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, like, I, for a long time, I wanted to be a clinical psychologist. And, I mean, I, that still would be really cool. I just don't know how likely that is, given I do this so publicly now. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it makes me um, a lot kinder towards people, I think. It makes me kinder towards myself, although I'm way harder on myself than I could ever be, than anyone else could ever be towards me, right? Mm -hmm. The worst trolls. I'm like, <laughs> you think you're worse than my intrusive thoughts? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th I thought when I when I went into psychology, I thought I would like to be, I would like to just do uh, research, independent research or work for a certain, you know, institute and uh, contribute to research because I think that there is just not enough, uh, that, that, that there's just so much out there to learn that humans need to learn, that psychology needs to learn so much that, uh, that medicine needs to adopt from psychology and all that. I thought, um, I would love to contribute to that. And I thought uh, maybe I would like to uh, to to teach at a uh, a university, for example. I, I, that, that's that's that was kind of my idea at the very beginning when I decided to switch to psychology. At the moment, I don't really I don't really know. I'm. I think I could at some point start focusing on uh, the psychology of religion, which is something that I really want to 
that I'm really interested in and that I really want to further study and uh, write about and work on. I just don't know. I don't know what the, what the future will will bring. I want to respond to one thing here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Christopher Lister made a comment and said, uh, AP isn't the same true of atheists as well. Uh, yes, it is. And that's the point. The same is true for everybody. Uh, and, and we are we are all just humans, all just beings that try to go through life and try to be a certain way. And we have expectations uh, you know, of each other, and we are all simply just, you know, these these expectations to be perfect, to make society be a certain way will always fail. They will never succeed because humans are not just one type. Humans are so different, so diverse in the way they think and the way they act. You can't make all people abide by one certain uh you know, belief system or one certain, um, you know, meaning of life or one certain way to live life. It just doesn't work. And uh, we, we, are, we are ignorant. We are flawed. We are impulsive. Uh, very much bound to uh, genetics and things that are out of our hand. That is true for all of us, not just for religious people. Uh, so this is a huge, this is a generalization of um, humans entirely, definitely. And I would, I would never, I would never act like I have found the perfect meaning that everyone should live by, or that I have found the perfect answer that I am uh, a genius that everything that I say is true. No, I, I'm, I'm, I would be the first to admit here that I am uh, ignorant, like all of us, like humans, because we are all ignorant. We are all stupid in many ways, also very smart and good in many ways, and very creative, but also very stupid. We are very faulty, very uh, impulsive, and you know. We can't really control ourselves. We want to do so many things in life that we can't really do. I have so many goals that I can't achieve because I can't. I can simply not get my get my shit together. So, <laughs> you know, I'm aware of that. We're I'm waiting for that video series, AP. <laughs> <laughs> we are all like that. You know? it's, it's just yeah. it's just a one step to admit all of that. You know that we are like that. We are this way, and the, that you can force people to act and believe a certain way. Yeah, I think, well, I, it's not a belief system, but, like, I'm a pretty big fan of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Like, that's one thing that I think is pretty, pretty good. There it's is, pretty basic, yeah. There's things that I would adjust or update, but, like, I'm like, eh, I think that's a pretty good universal guide. Um, <laughs> but, so that'd be, like, my only slight disagreement with you. But that's a different flavor anyways. Well, I, um, I don't even disagree with that, but, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um uh varun gave us a 20 dollars super chat holy cow varun um so we're contractually obligated to answer whatever is in this <laughs> uh varun is saying uh pagan arabs has 360 idols and mo muhammad reduced it to one that is considered a monotheism or monotheistic achievement as if it made things better. Is it weird that now they don't like those who reduced it from one to zero? <laughs> Why zero envy? I this is this is very interesting. This is funny. I mean, yeah, so this is, I mean, kind of um, I think this is attributed to Dawkins, but he's to people who are Abrahamists or um uh monotheists saying like you don't you're atheistic towards every other god. I'm just atheist towards one more right uh -huh. um and i mean i guess you're right like i guess it's kind of suna to like just go about reducing gods it's definitely suna to bas blaspheme against gods the thing is it's it's kind of um the, the 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 logic and the history and development of that is um slightly uh more slightly less complicated but also less uncomplicated uh, <laughs> you know Muhammad didn't just re uh, get rid of these idols and reduce them to one um you know M Muhammad based that whole idea on the idea that he you know, he, he didn't like his own society his own society sucked to him he, he was uh he was very fed up with his own society he was looking for justice which is a very common uh, you know way people 
act who are dissatisfied with life with their own society and he liked jews and christians he liked how they lived he liked how they were what well, he liked the stuff that they believed in and he had this idea that he can uh influence people and revolutionize his own society and uh, turn his own society into um a society like the christians and the jews of course he had the idea that uh that he could then also he was megalomaniac and thought he could also influence the Christians and Jews and also make them a part of his religion, also convince them to follow, to leave their religions and to follow his religion. And when he realized that they are not going to do that, that they are going to ridicule him and reject him, he became extremely uh, aggressive and hostile toward them too. But uh, yeah, basically the idea was, uh, basically that, 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 that that's the idea. He just didn't like his own religion and he was pretty passionate about it which is why he revolutionized it and um we are now simply like muhammad we just want to we just we just don't like our own tradition our own system and want to change it we ex-muslims are each one of us we ex-muslims are just doing what muhammad did to his own society yeah we are changing the system we don't like the system we think it is stupid uh we think it should change and we are now wanting to get rid of that one allah that's true <laughs> sunnah get into sunnah. it it is sunnah it is sunnah i'm following the sunnah. it oh my goodness wait no. <laughs> find it and unhighlight there we go so hussein rahman said is that actually true because jews and christians actually had equality for women and men but islam never adopted that i wouldn't say that uh jews uh, and christians had equality for women like like, like equality equality <laughs> they, 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 def they definitely had a better approach toward women than Islam did, but not equality. Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would uh, yeah, crack open that Bible again. Um, definitely not the case. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not, where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free, it's not even promotion, it's free. Okay, so if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of Why There's No God. Ah, come on, like I'm handing it out for free. Okay, it's a bestseller on Amazon and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you link in the description